A caravan of RVs playing a game of cat and mouse with the city of Berkeley. Dozens of people living in the vehicles were ordered to leave their spots along Marina Boulevard. So they moved to a restaurant parking lot around the corner. KPIX 5 reporter Wilson Walker on their search for a safe place to live. Wilson? Well, Liz, in the last couple of weeks, the city of Berkeley decided it had an untenable RV situation over at the Berkeley Marina. But tonight, it would appear that the city has the exact same situation on its hands, only about half a mile away. Basically, a car crashed all the way up to about here. Homeless for three years now, Paul Schrager, his partner, and their five year old son now live in the 88 Fleetwood Southwind he saved from the scrapyard. I did the best I could. I had no power tools, so I did it all by hand. The challenge now, finding a place to park it after the city of Berkeley forced about two dozen RVs to leave nearby Marina Boulevard after complaints from business and slip owners. I actually am leaving this marina as well as five others because of this. In this one particular area on one street, we're saying people can't park there. So today, while crews shut down that parking lot with concrete barriers, the displaced fleet of RVs was slowly reconvening just around the corner in the parking lot of his lordship's restaurant. So we've had complaints of feces and hypodermic needles and reports of assault. Mathai Chaco is the spokesperson for the Berkeley City Manager's Office, which is calling the shots out here. And while no one would speak on behalf of the corporate owned his lordship's, several employees told me the RVs make it hard for patrons to find parking, especially during large events on the weekends. A critic might say you've just moved the problem about half a mile away. We're going to address each problem one at a time. The RV dwellers who moved over to this parking lot tell me they decided as a group to stick together. Next door, there's a um, family of uh, four, and then another trailer has uh, four children. But there is no indication that this arrangement is, legally speaking, any different from the previous one that ended in eviction. You know, and my family lives here. I'm born and raised here, so I am not leaving. You know, I'm Berkeley. All right, now the migration didn't exactly happen overnight. Uh, folks kind of moved over here over the last couple weeks as word got out that the other location was going to be sort of shut down. And I can tell you in the time that I've been here today, more and more folks have been rolling in. Now, interesting note, the move just across university actually took all of these folks from one city council district to another, from one to two. This is expected to be discussed tonight at tonight's city council meeting, which is just getting underway. We are live in Berkeley. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.